So good morning, this is Cheryl from Rural Web. I am today at the Lat Dior Hotel in Senegal, in Thiès. Uh, we are here to visit our partners in the Greening Plastic Project. And let me explain the background. There is an art exposition here at the hotel. So I thought it would be nice to have take that as background. Yesterday we spent uh, the day with our partners. We visited the factory of DMS and we uh, checked on some of the passive samplers which we have had them put in the ground here. The factory is looking very good. They have space to expand. They have space to stock up with both uh, primary matter and um, the tubes that they make. Uh, there is an office space which still needs to be isolated so that the secretary does not have uh, all the sounds from the factory coming to her so that she can concentrate on her work and accept phone calls. Um, then the passive samplers, that was a bit of a different story. These were not all um, installed as they should have been and that is of course I think now a communication thing. The passive samplers which have been installed uh, about a month ago were not installed correctly. Uh, actually the passive samplers that, we, uh, that were brought back in August have turned out not to have been packed correctly so they have been installed correctly by us and they have been retrieved by our partners but unfortunately they have not been packed correctly when transported to the Netherlands. And the result is that it looks as if these passive samplers have seen 3,000 cubic meters of water flush by. And that is as much as a big river in Bangladesh, which is not very realistic for drip irrigation. So we know that these passive samplers, uh, we cannot get concentrations out of it, but we can get relative amounts. We can still identify which compounds have passed the passive sampler or, ha or have interacted with the passive sampler uh, but we can no longer calculate actual concentrations but well this is a pilot project this is why we do a pilot to see where do things go wrong what do we need to pay attention to how do we need to communicate how these passive samplers need to be used and <laughs> you learn most when you make mistakes so yeah it's the way it goes so today we have another day at Elvia we will have meetings, uh, we will present the passive samplers for the second time to um, people from an international network of organizations working in waste management and uh, Elvia is a coordinator of this network so they have close ties with them. It's going to be another fun day and um, yeah I'm not really vlogging but I'll take you along, take pictures for you and we'll see what kind of video we can make of this. Thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs>